I remember last time, or last week, he had to log on and invite me because I'm cross realm still. Yeah, for some reason he thought he had earned a vacation. Tanks don't get a vacation. What about me then? I was the tank once. No, no vacation for you. What am I doing right now? Even I was a tank at one point in time, long, long ago. I never was. Yet? It's interesting. Yet. I've been a healer. Ah, uh, so why? Be, be a PvP healer, help out Shad. You'll like it. I've been there, done that too. Yeah, PvP healing is awesome fun. That's what my resto druid is. I need to get my healer back up. I need to get a healer. Oh, why did you put it down? No, I just need a level him. He's 87. Close. Ah. Mine's 90, but has a gear level less than 90. Probably. <laughs> you can just run around on timeless aisle for a couple of hours. You'll gear up real snap quick. That's what I need to do. You stick that burden on it, and boy, you're all better. It's almost better getting with drops and flex. See no point to it right now, because five months later, a new expansion will come out. Hey, Shad and Lieb, your voice is going to be on uh, YouTube. Is that fine? On what? YouTube. I shall be right back. And I think that he was going to say YouTube. Ooh, I'm gonna be famous. Sorry, I guess my mic cut it out. Well, I did back a couple of years ago go to a convention and one of the uh for one of the uh 
not a forum, but one of the things that was presented was how to make your own horror film. And the people who was putting it on was a semi-professional film crew. So I am in a YouTube video. And I even have a line. Cool. Now you got lots of lines. Lines. <laughs> It was interesting to find out exactly what it takes to make like 10 inch of 10, it takes like about six to eight hours of filming to make 10 inches of film, 10 minutes of film, believe it or not. I can understand that. Oh yeah, it definitely does take a lot of time. I can believe it with all the editing and then uh, rendering and all this and that. Exactly, in the camera angles and stuff, believe me, it's, it's, it's definitely an experience, it really is. And then uh, you have to say if, what you want the person to say and how do they say it with their tone of voice. Exactly. And you have to figure out which camera angle you want to use for which scene and this continuity, it's, it's a lot of work. Oh, I'm sure. You know, I just didn't realize how much work it was until I actually participated in that. Again, to make it professional looking. If you don't want it professional looking, you can get it done pretty fast. Well, you know who Jeff Burns is, don't you? Nope. He does a lot of um, stuff for the uh, WM the um, learning public access. Okay. He's got he's run a couple Emmys even. This is his brother who is doing it. Well, I'm gonna be right back a second. Supper's ready.
but he doesn't like us. Okay, I'm back. You were gone? Yep. I mean, welcome back. We <laughs> missed you. You better. I'm awesome. I'm you believe that one? He's got a bridge for you, too. Ooh. What did I miss? And he doesn't like us. <gasps> oh. Well, what'd you do to make him not like you? Lots of things. But that's not the point. He just went to a different <gasps> channel than where we are. It's just fired. Go kick him in the butt. Has anyone ever bought a vehicle off Craigslist? Uh, if they ask you to get a green dot card, don't go there. never even heard of that. What is it? It is a prepaid card that you can get in just about every single major car store. Uh, they ask you to get it, send it to them via P PayPal, what have you. Especially the person's telling you, A, I've got the car in storage. I'm going out of the country, but I can ship it to you. It's a scam. I can guarantee you it's a scam. I don't want to be scammed, I just need to buy a truck that I can put my little four-month-old in. Well, make sure that you get to inspect it in front. 
And unless you can see it yourself in person, don't go there. Well, I'm not, and I'm going to be bringing my brother-in-law because he's actually into cars and going to school for it. There's just so many dodges, and a husband does not like dodge. Who well, is this? Is a car for you or for your husband? Well, a car for him. I still don't have my driver's license because I'm scared to drive with all these stupid people. I, 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 probably wise. I get frustrated with people on the freeway every freaking day. Yeah, and he's a way better driver because uh, someone like pulled out right in front of us right after uh, we came from a friend's and uh, we almost got in a wreck right then and there. Yeah. Well, I live in Arizona and people here are terrible drivers. It's ridiculous. Yeah, try Toledo, Ohio. Oh my god, I've seen a jeep that almost flipped because he was going too fast around a corner. Really? Just stupid people. Yeah. Well here, since it never rains, so people speed everywhere for no reason. And then when it rains, it's like, oh, this is nothing, so it still happens. That's just crazy. Why are we going a hundred and a forty? I don't understand that. And let me guess, no one ever gets arrested. No! That's irritating. Um, my brother-in-law has, he used to drink and drive and he has gotten away with so much crap and one day my husband did not use his turn signal in the neighborhood, and a cop was following us. That's, yeah, that's stupid in my opinion. Nothing better to do. There was no one behind us besides him. Yeah. Well, I don't drive at all, so hey. Lucky you. You probably don't really have to go very many places. Well, yeah. I do. Well, I, well, every, I... Everything's in the walking distance. Even better. I know, that would be awesome. Well, and if I want to go somewhere as far, I've got an international airport about 13 miles from me. I've got an Amtrak station about a mile from me. I've got a Greyhound station about a mile from me. And I've got a, uh, one of those Chinese buses about two blocks from me. 